Hey guys, so this video is just a quick tutorial for anyone who has purchased my Lightroom presets and needs some help on the installation process. But if you haven't done so already and would like to purchase some of my mobile presets, you can head on over to etsy.com slash shop slash Fallon Travels and check out my shop. And I'll also be creating tons of content in the future for editing in Lightroom, navigating the Adobe software programs. So definitely stay tuned for more. Okay, so before we begin, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have both the free Lightroom CC mobile app and the free Dropbox app installed on your phone. All right, now we can get started. So if you purchase my presets from Etsy, you'll need to go over to your Etsy profile in a Safari or Chrome browser window, and then select purchases and reviews from the options listed. And this is where you can download the PDF guide, which contains the link to your mobile presets. The PDF guide will look something like this depending on the preset pack that you purchased. So on the first page, you'll need to select download your presets here. And this is gonna take you to a screen that looks something like this. Select view an app at the top of your screen, click open, and this will redirect you to the Dropbox app. So you can go ahead and select DNG files. And just a quick note, this specific preset pack is my influencer set, which contains 15 mobile presets. Most of my preset packs only contain five presets, so this process will look slightly different depending on which preset pack you purchased. On the right of each DNG preset, you're gonna see three dots. Click on each one and select Export, Save Image. Make sure that you have each DNG file saved to your camera roll, and then head on over to the Lightroom mobile app once you have them all saved. Once you're in the Lightroom mobile app, you'll see an album section. Click the plus icon to the right of albums and create new album. I'll name this influencer presets and click OK. Select that album and you'll see two blue buttons at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Click the one to the left, import from camera roll and click each of the DNG files. Add photos, and then these will import into the album. So you have a couple of options here. The first one is to copy and paste the settings onto your photo. So select the DNG file, click the circle button in the top right hand corner with three dots, Select copy settings, click the check mark, go over to the photo that you would like to edit, click the same circle button, and this time select paste settings, and the adjustments will be applied to your image. The second option is to create and save the preset in a new preset album. The option to save presets used to only be available to those with a paid Lightroom subscription, but now it's available for the free version as well. If you don't see it, try updating Lightroom Mobile or deleting and reinstalling the app. So you wanna click on the preset that you wanna use, select the same button with three dots in the top right hand corner, but this time you'll select create preset, type in the name for the preset, And you can either save it to user presets or create a new preset group. Click OK. Now you wanna go back and do this for each one of the DNG presets until you have all of them saved to the same preset group. So once you have each preset saved, you can go and open up the photo that you would like to edit using the preset. Scroll all the way over to the right until you see presets. Go to the album that you just created and click on whatever preset you would like to edit your photos with. So we'll click Vanilla Pop, click the check mark. Now it's important to note that while the presets will technically be available in one click, you will most likely need to make some adjustments to the presets. So this photo in particular is a bit underexposed, which is why I chose the Vanilla Pot preset, which is a brighter airy filter. But we still might wanna make a few changes because the shadows are looking really dark here and it 
it's kind of difficult to see our subject. So we can head on over to the light panel and make a few tweaks. So the exposure slider is simply gonna brighten your overall image. We're gonna just leave this as is for now, but you can always make adjustments here if you don't feel like messing around with the other sliders. So the highlights are pushed down pretty far already, but we'll go ahead and lower them to a negative 100 so that we can bring back any lost detail in the sky. And then we can increase the shadows pretty much all the way to bring back detail on the dark parts of the image. In this case, the woman posing and the dark parts of the sand. The white slider is typically used to increase the overall brightness of the white tones, but for this photo, because we need the shadows lightened up and because there's so much sand in the photo, we actually might wanna bring down the whites quite a bit. And now we can go back up to the contrast and increase the slider a bit to kind of just make our image look a little less flat. And we can head back down to the blacks and lower the slider to make the image look a little less washed out and kind of get back some of the details that we took out by increasing the shadows. And then we might want to increase the shadows a little bit more and you can kind of just play around until you get a good fit for the image. Okay, now I'm just gonna quickly show you how to make a few more adjustments using a different preset and a different photo. So I'll select this photo, go back over to the presets tab, and then I'll go with Fallon Travels this time. So the first thing that I noticed about this preset is that it looks a bit grainy on this photo, and there could be a couple reasons for this. Go over to the effects tab, scroll down, and then look to see if there's grain applied. If there is, you can lower it back down to zero, see if that does anything. And then we can also check to see if the sharpening in the preset is making the photo look a bit grainy. So go over to detail, lower the sharpening. And it actually seems like that made a pretty big difference. Now we can make a few adjustments to the color. So if we scroll on over to the color tab, you'll see a rainbow icon in the top right hand corner that says mix. Click here and you'll see the hue, saturation, and luminance sliders for the colors that we can edit in Lightroom. So if you wanna make changes to the skin color, you'll be working with the red and orange tabs, but mostly with the orange tab. So click here and you can start moving the sliders around to see it, how they affect one another. For this photo, I might move the luminance up slightly to brighten up his face, but if you wanna, for example, make someone look a little tanner, you could try increasing the saturation and then lowering the luminance. Then go over to the yellow. If you have blonde hair like I do, I suggest lowering the saturation as much as possible while still keeping detail in the photo. And then I usually increase the luminance, but you kind of have to be careful with this one because the yellows can sometimes blow out your image if you go too far with it. Go over to the greens. So if you want a more blue green, you could try sliding the hue over to the right and then if you want a more yellow green, you could try sliding it over to the left. Same for the blues. If you want a more aqua blue, you could try sliding the hue over to the left. And then you could also try maybe increasing the luminance to see how it affects the sky, and then maybe increasing or decreasing the saturation. So click out of the color tab and you'll be in the white balance, which is where you can make adjustments to the temperature and the tint of your photo. So try sliding the temperature over to the left for a cooler edit and over to the right for a warmer edit. And then same for the tint, you could try sliding the tint over to the right for a pink tint and to the left for a more green tint. And then you can also add any additional vibrance or saturation to your photo. You're just gonna wanna be careful with the saturation slider so you don't blow out the colors in the image. And that's about all I have for basic adjustments in Lightroom. If you guys have any questions at all, either leave a comment below or feel free to message me on Etsy.